Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and as promised, I'm going to just show you quickly the dried pages that we worked on the other day. These are coffee dyed pages that I watercolored with some very easy, uh, very, very simple techniques just to use for signature pages uh, in a junk journal someday. This was a little bit of a mass making technique and I wanted to try another technique with these coffee dyed pages. Um, these were fun to do, just different random techniques so that when they're folded and then they're in a junk journal, they might look pretty and just some random flower designs here. I thought that came out really well. I mean, my favorite one. And then there's this one. It's pretty too. So a lot of different ways that you can do that. But let's grab some more coffee dyed paper. You can, you can use any kind of paper, but I've got this coffee dyed paper here, so I thought it'd be fun because it's already ready to go in a junk journal and these are pretty much dry I would say but I was thinking my quandary to self today was since I have the watercolor out and instead of using the brush we're going to use this little guy maybe you have one of these makeup sponges I want to see if you can put this in watercolor and then use a stencil where's the stencil where's the stencil and stencil with this thing in here with watercolor and I don't know I don't know the answer to that we're going to find out though okay, I'm going to wet this in a little bit of water I've got a little paint in here let's just see what happens There's some purple paint in here I just want to know if this is a good tool that's my 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 question to self let's see what self came up with as self answers this for self here we go is this a good dauber Oh, let's try any more. I think it might be okay. Might be a slow way of doing it, but I think it's going to work. Oh, it's not that slow. We got some things going on here. I might need some more paint. Let me try a different color. I'm actually trying to clean up whatever's left over in this um, uh, little water holder palette thing that I have. I, I, I just love this little spongy thing. I'm going to eat whatever's in here we're going to use up. Let's see what we got over here. It's a little orange. Well, it's brown now or black because there was some black in the one before that. Here's some brown. Oh, this should be pretty intense. There's some good brown there. Oh, so I hope you're having fun today. Maybe you're playing with your papers. Maybe you're just hanging out. Maybe you're having fun, doing fun things. Whatever it is, I hope you're having fun. That's my my main hope for y'all. So everything is dandy here. It is slowly becoming a nice warmish spring in Florida, and we're very happy about that. So it was a little chilly there for a while. Don't laugh. I know. I know we, we get very upset when it's 70 and not 80. Um, but we're dealing with it the best we can. Gosh darn it. I know you have no mercy for those of you who like warm weather. I'm hoping this works and it doesn't go bleed through all the underneath. We're going to find out. There's a little bit of red in here. Let me okay, let's see that. There we go. A little bit of red going here. Oh, didn't get any. Oh, it's just full of the brown ink or paint. We'll just see what we got. I have, I have no idea. Let's just see. Going anywhere? Oh my God, it's like a big blob. Okay, so that didn't work so well. What did we learn from this? Maybe too much water? Oh, oh, I don't know if you saw that. It was just like pouring out of here. That's too much, no. Okay, so that's probably user error. Let's try again. All right, we'll just put this one over here and it'll dry very beautifully and get used for something. So let's try drier. Not as much water. Same stencil. But let's try maybe, like, let's let's do a pink. Let's not, okay, let me see if there's, okay, it's not much water in there. I'm going to rub in this pink color. Okay, rubbing. Now, there's definitely not as much water, so I'm hoping it will not be seep through. This is round two. Coming along. A little bit more. All right, there, 
Let's we'll see if we can make it better. We just don't give up. We keep going. That's right, because we're crafters. Let me try a different color. I want to do, let's see. Maybe a green. How about this greeny blue teal color? Well, that's pretty intense. Yeah, it seems to be dry enough. I think we're going well. We won't know until we're done. We're just going to keep moving forward. Stay confident. Pretend like we know what we're doing. We don't. We all know that, right? And I need paint on my blue, my white nails. That's not going to be very good, but we'll just see what happens. It's all a grand experiment. Let's see. Let's see. Did we do better this time? I'm hopeful. Much better. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now we know, look like we know what we're doing. Okay. So let's just continue on here a little bit. We need a little more water. Okay, not much. Not much. You want more? More paint, less water with this technique. So it doesn't bleed through the stencils so much. Okay, so I'll stick this over here. Well, maybe I'll flip it over and put some of these over here. Oh, look at her go now. Oh, mesh. She's fast. She knows what she's doing. She has confidence. It's all looking good. Look at that. That's dandy. All right, let's get some more pink. Ink. Here we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. Yep. Okay. A few more down here just to finish it off. Oh, look at that! That just came out dandy. I really like that page. Now that was pure fun. I have to admit, it was pure fun exhibited on that page. What a difference. We went from from here to here. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You just never know in the old paper outpost what you're going to get. All right. Maybe we're going to try a multicolored tree stencil one just to see. All right. Let's whoop, whoop. Oh, gosh. Throwing everything everywhere, let me tell you. Okay. Here we go. Down. Wet. I'm going to do not a brown tree. I'm going to do... Different colors of trees, uh, maybe some orange, orange and wild, maybe orange. more water, but way more paint than water. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Well, what we're getting here, but it looks good so far. Okay. Do, 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 do. Just going on a little angle here. There we go. Okay, now let's get some more random water and let's go for... That was orange, right? Uh, maybe some mid green. Oh yeah, really. This uses up the watercolor a lot, the paint. But you know, that's what we bought it for to use it. Let's get in there and paint with it. Not changing the dauber. I know you could probably be more of a purist and rinse your daubers, or um, I don't know. We call this a dauber at this point. What is this thing? It's a sponge. Um, I'm using the pointy end. I don't know why. It just feels like I might have more micro precision with that, but I really don't know that that's a fact. I'm just going on blind instinct here and pouncing. I'm pouncing. I'm not daubing. I'm pouncing. I'm sure there's a difference technically. Okay, so a little more of these going. I'm feeling good about it yet again. Feeling like we're not having too much seepage going on. And I'm pouncing away. The best of them. Let's see what we got. Oh, now that's very nice. Didn't that come out nicely? It was very easy to do with the great pouncer of all pouncers, this thing. Easily purchased at any, you know, Walmart or CVS or TJ Maxx, where we get them, or anywhere online, I'm sure. Yes. Okay, that's good. We'll do a little, like, corner hewing here just to give it a little bit of a little something. Yeah, maybe I'll just do some random little... Oh, I like that. Yeah, let's do that. This just fills it in a little bit more. It's very fun. We don't know what that is, but it's kind of cool. You, get it, you can't have too much fun with the pouncer. You know? That's what I'm saying. That's a really cool page. i give that... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a high-quality winner. A winner. We got a winner. All right. 
So let's now get another piece of paper and let's try something different. Let's try this stencil. I haven't gone far with my stencils. I've been using like the three same stencils, but you can uh, use them in so many different ways. So one tool can be used in many different ways. So let's add a little bit more water here to the situation at hand. Oh, I got way too much water. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna run into trouble with that. We don't want that much. Let's try a, a purple. I'm in the purple over here now. Swirling back and forth and I'm dobbing. I'm dobbing yet again. No, no, no. No, that's right. I'm dusting myself. I'm pouncing. That's what I'm doing. I'm pouncing. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Very fun. Yep. Good quality pouncing going on here. This is this is intricate and deep pouncing. Okay, I'm going to change colors. Going in the dirty water, picking another random color. Yellow? Okay, let's try that. It's going to be yellowy green with a lot of brown water mixed in. Here we go. Might not be pure yellow, but it was yellow, yellow-ish. And we are good. It is pouncing. I'm getting some kind of color coming through. And let us check our artwork now that it's done. Very nice. Very happy with that. Okay. I think I'm just going to continue this across. A little more water. Back in the purple. I know, cross-pollination at its best. And it's kind of like purple and yellow mixed together, which makes some version of a brown, as I'm seeing here. But that's okay. It's all in the same color family because we're using the same two colors to make the third color. So somehow they're related on some design tool or, you know, whatever I'm saying. You know what I mean? Somehow they're related because they're made from the same color. Let's go back in the yellow with the brown water. That'll work great. I know, right? You can say you saw it here, but she did it. I know you can blame it on, I'll take the hit. You got just tell me you saw me do it. <laughs> they're your toys, just remember that. Okay. Oh yeah, very cool. Okay, I see transition going across, I like it. All right, we're going back in again, more purple. And we're pouncing. Now we got some serious brown purple going on. That's all right. Nothing wrong with a good brown purple. A little more purple going now. I'm digging in the, the purple pot here. Oh, yeah, that's purpley. More yellow. All right, that's definitely a brown yellow. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but we got it, and it's ours. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Isn't that pretty? It's just so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I don't know. I think it's going to make a very pretty journal page. Maybe I'll use these in the centers of the signatures. That would be cool. I like this little corner hewing. This is kind of fun. And do some random splashers. I don't know. I just I like it. It's like pretty. It's kind of, I don't know, it makes it look like, I don't know, misty like moons or suns or something, everything behind there. It's kind of cool. All right, you're doing good, doing good. All right, so what we got so far? I mean, we have this one, we have this one, and we have this one. And I'm liking them all. I really can say I'm liking them all. So those are all good quality additions. We need more paper. And oh, lo and behold, I have a bunch of coffee dyed paper. So we can have more fun with this stuff. I need a new stencil. This will be a fun one, and this will be a fun one. Yeah, okay, that one would be a fun one too. I use the same stencils all the time. Who am I kidding? Because I like them. This the butterfly stencil, one of my favorite stencils. Very pretty. All right, so what colors are you going to use this time, Missy? Um, is there any water in there? Not much. There we go. Fill that little cover up. Um, how about that blue? That's a pretty blue. Let me get these over here so you can see them. And we'll try a different technique. Don't worry yet. We'll, we'll keep doing different techniques here. Okay, I'm swirling in a random blue of some color. Pouncing or pouncing. I wish we could make these bicolor butterflies like partially blue and partially some other color yeah 
I think so. Okay, let's give it to you some blue. All right. You can be half blue. You can be half blue. And you can be half blue. Welcome to the fold. All right, now what's going to be the contrasting color? Maybe a purple, a deep purple. All right, that's very deep purple. Okay. All right, I think I moved a bit. That's all right. We'll put it back in action. And let the parts that weren't covered before, the little butterfly leaf. Oh, more water needed. Blue. Mm -hmm. This is going to be nice. Okay, this is looking good. Oh, we need a little purple body there, totally. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, baby, now we're talking. We got multicolored, and they don't blend together. I mean, they don't blur together. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, I do say so myself. I really, really like this look with the pouncing. We will continue to pounce. Let's try. I still have purple on here, so I'm going to go the opposite like I do these outsides. Purple, what did I do? Yeah, I did. So let me do all this purple. And then we'll do you purple. And you purple. And you purple. I'm trying to go on the opposite side. You purple. Okay, now we're going to switch colors. We get more water. It does hold a lot of water. Look at all that. We can't see that. All that water. Except for that. We get the blue, the intense blue of it all. See where it goes. Blue. Oh, that's a very intense blue. That's very cool. So this will definitely wake anybody up who wasn't paying attention before. They're going to be saying, wow, look at that color. The drama she brought with us. Two different colors is simply amazing. It's kind of fun more than anything. Who are we kidding? This is just fun. If you haven't pounced today, you haven't lived. I think I didn't get purple in there. I'm just going to have to come here and put some more blue. What's going to be entirely blue butterfly then? It's blue, 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 blue here. Lots of pouncing. And let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Okay, we need something up here. We need a tail or something. Maybe anything right there. There we go. Very nice. Oh, that came out really good. Really, really good. We're going to hue in the blue. And hue. In the blue edges, just a little across the top and the other side. Oh, that's very pretty. It's getting prettier as we go. Look at that. Oh, that's a beauty, isn't it? That is so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty. It's like really pretty. That was a fun technique. We're going to be writing to home about this one. That's a good one. Look at that. That's amazing. I'm not, I'm not rinsing. I'm not washing out. I'm not getting using clean water. Look at the mud I'm using. It can be that easy. Don't tell anybody. Okay, here we have one with leaves. All right. Okay, I think we're going to go like this. I don't know. This? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Leaves. Now what color are we going to do? Maybe... <clears throat> Maybe some greens and browns or something. I don't know. What do you think? I think that sounds like a good combination. All right. We'll do the half leaves again. That's kind of fun. Yeah, we'll do multicolored half leaves. Okay. I'll do some leaves, some sides of leaves, some sides, sides. Two, two, two. Okay. Going to a different color now. We're going to try brown, brown, brown. Oh, I should have done that brownie orange. Well, I'll just, I'll just go with this. Maybe I'll come back in with an occasional splash of that orange yellow just to give it that fall look. Because you can make stuff in the spring for fall. You can make fall stuff in the fall for fall. Or you can make spring stuff in the spring for spring or any other season because there's. No rules when it comes to doing stuff for junk journals. Okay. Going in with yet another color. This is like a yellow orange. Coming I mean, like kind of like a oh, just like randomly put it in here somewhere. 
I don't know what I'm doing with this. This is like just adding a layer of something. Nobody really knows we're doing it anyway. If not everywhere, just some places. Oh yeah, baby. Now we're talking. That's like really cool. It's multi-dimensional. This is so cool. It should be illegal. That's how cool it is. We're talking ultra cool. This is really fun. How do I want to do this? You like this? Okay. Down one side. That's mostly the orangey one here. Let me get some more brown. 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 More browns. And now we're coming with more. We need more water. Okay. There we go. Lots of gray water now. And then we're going to do the green. We're coming in with the green. Here it comes. Our old friend, Green. Did you play with your watercolors today? Today's a, what day is better than today to play with your watercolor? All right, here you go. If you don't have them, go get them. Go buy some. They're not that expensive. It'll be all right. You don't, you don't need to eat those snacks. You think you need the cookies. No, you don't. You go buy your watercolor. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. This is a really nice piece of paper. <laughs> am, I, am I allowed to say that about my own artwork? But I'm really enjoying this. So, okay, green, brown, brown. Yeah, what's the other color there? All right, what do you get? Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Maybe something up here. There we go. Oh, nice. There's something right there. Just off to the side. Yeah, that's good. And there's something here. Okay, that's good. Should we hue? We could hue lightly. You don't have to hue. Hewing is optional. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. Very pretty. Oh, yeah, baby. We're talking good stuff here. All right. Let's review. Leaves of nature. Gorgeous. Do I say or say or so myself? Butterflies of wonder. Oh, my gosh. This is like jaw dropper. Random pinky, like flower heart weird teardrop things. Very cool. And then the mysterious multicolored leaves, uh, branches of wonder. Very nice. And then we have the very soft yet unforgettable meadow flowers. Oh, these are all really, really pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm beside myself. Sunny, are you beside yourself? You need to be beside yourself because you're up. That's right. It's time. Sun bun, it's time for your pup date. Time for your pup date. Oh, you're excited? Well, come. He knows I'm going to pick him up. He's like, you're coming for me, aren't you? And you're going to do the flip around, upside down sunshine maneuver. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Hello, everybody. It's sunshine. Does anybody see these beautiful papers behind me? They're very beautiful. Um, this is sunshine. Cub Pup Reporter reporting on the beautiful papers that are behind me. Um, for some reason, these brought Mother great joy, and they can bring you great joy, too. Now, if you, if you go get your watercolors. You know you have them. They're in the box way over there, deep buried. Pull them out. Don't be shy. Don't think you have to be an artist. You just get in there, and you paint till the cows come home. And let me tell you, those cows never come home. Nobody's ever seen a cow around here once. But we we craft as if they are coming home. We just have faith. <laughs> and um, maybe one day a cow will come home. <laughs> but until then, we craft. Agreed? <laughs> Sunshine, out. Well, thank you very much, sir. That was wonderful of you. We truly appreciate that. Um, and for those of you who would like to see all my links, here's the master link to all my links. But if you 
you can activate the drop down description box below the video. You can see all my links individually and click, clink, clink on them. <laughs> I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. Um, you sign up for that. You get a free uh, digital image each month, a checklist of supplies, note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and um, a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, uh, Saturdays, and Sundays, YouTube God's willing. And uh, I have an Etsy shop where I have journals and bundles and kits and fundles when they're available. I have an Amazon shop where you might see favorite tools and supplies. Don't look at this as an example, but this is, uh, if you see me use something, I try and put a link to it in my uh, Etsy shop. So you might be able to uh, find, not my Etsy shop, my Amazon shop. So you can find it. And um, I have a t-shirt shop and a, um, I call it a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon or everything is a, craft supply until proven. Otherwise, you can get that on a sweatshirt, a mug, a t-shirt, a zipped hoodie, and a water bottle. I feel like I'm forgetting one. And um, most of all, remember the fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. Take care. Till next time. Bye-bye.